Mike Flint was Buffet's personal airplane pilot for 10 years. Once Flint was talking about his career priorities with Buffet. Buffet asked Flint to list the top 25 things he wanted to do in the next few years or even during his lifetime. Buffet then asked him to review each item and circle the top 5 that were most important to him. Flint was hesitant because to him they were all massively important. But Buffet insisted that he could only pick 5. So Flint spent some time with his list and after some deliberation circled five items on his list. He then asked Flint when is he planning to work on these top 5 and what his approach would be. Flint said, "I'm going to work on them right away. I'll start tomorrow. Actually no, I'll start tonight." Now, once the top 5 is done, Buffet asked, "What about these other 20 things on your list that you didn't circle?" Flint replied confidently, "Well, the top 5 are my primary focus, but the other 20 come in a close second. So, I'll work on those intermittently as I'm getting through my top 5." Buffet responded sternly, "No, you have got it wrong." Everything you didn't circle just became your avoid at all cost list. No matter what, these things should not get any attention from you until you have fully succeeded with your top 5. Every behavior has a cost. Even neutral behaviors aren't really neutral. They take up time, energy and space that could be put toward better behavior or more important task. This is why Buffet's strategy is particularly brilliant. Item 6 through 25 on our list are important to us. But when we compare them to our top 5 goals, these items are distractions. Spending time on secondary priorities is the reason we have 25 half-finished projects instead of 5 completed ones. The more you learn about success, and what it takes to get there the more you will see a thick consistent thread when we decide to aim at less we end up achieving more everyone's time is limited what matters most is to focus on what matters most and this brings to us our 36th cheat code of life focus whenever you want to achieve something keep your eyes open focus and make sure you know exactly what it is you want deciding what not to do is as important as deciding what to do focusing is about saying no